Hi guys, on the video here, back again for another video on the channel, and unfortunately, it's another match day vlog. I say unfortunately because the Swans in recent weeks have been pretty poor in terms of the whole round performances and not getting any points, but it's another chance to get three points today. It's against a very, very good opposition though in Blackburn Rovers, who currently occupy second in the Sky Bit Championship. I remember playing Blackburn first game of the season, actually, and being pretty disappointed that we lost. Now, looking back at that, I feel pretty stupid, but we only lost 2-1 in that one. Considering it was Russell Martin's first game, got a point four days before the game, and, you know, we were pretty crap in that game, but compare that game to our last game against Luton, a huge difference in terms of squad and performances, and Hopefully we can get something today. You know, Blackburn will be a tricky test. I think there's over 600 fans from Blackburn coming down. So, fair play to them. Long, long way. And safe journey home to them. But yeah, it will be an interesting game. Hopefully we can get something today. Not too confident. But when I'm not too confident, the Swans do seem to pull out of a surprise at the back. And do tend to get a result. For example, Queen's Park Rangers away. But yeah, there won't be any Jake or Luke in the vlog today. Jake's working, I believe, and Luke's going to see family in England. So, hopefully those who have a good Saturday. And hopefully the rest of you have a good Saturday as well. So, we will still get some score predictions in a bit now. But fingers Cross Swans can win. Of course, there's some Sky Sports tonight. The return of Jimmy Patterson potentially. So a 1 0 Jimmy Patterson winner would be absolutely lovely. But in reality, it's going to be like 4 0 Blackburn. But yeah, I'll see you at Swans.com Stadium very, very soon. Curtis, half five today, Sky TV, Swans yeah. TV, Blackburn, score prediction, pal. Well, Blackburn, second place. We have not shown any ambition recently. If we show ambition, um, unlike recent performances, I think we may get something, but unfortunately, I'm probably going to go with 2 1 Blackburn. Yeah, score us. Uber Femi is do a goal. Could have joined Blackburn yeah. as well, I think. Yeah, so I think he's definitely do a goal. Ben Broughton's he has is on the bench. I think he'll come off the bench and score still. Definitely. And I reckon um, Joe Rothwell to get the other one. So Marley, Blackburn are home today. Of course, we both went to the original fixture on a mini bus, fifty quid down the drain. Score uh, prediction today. Uh, first of all, how are you? I'm alright, thanks. How are you? Uh, I'm very good, thank you. Score prediction for me. I said I, my score prediction. I think we're going to win, but I think we're going to lose. So I'm going to say we're going to win. <laughs> I'm going to say two on sons. Uh, I'm going to say Wolf and Patterson. Of course. And, uh, you know, for Blackburn. I already know who you're going to say, Diaz. Uh. I'm going to say Hedges. Oh, Hedges, former Swans player, apparently. Up the Jacks. So both teams then have released their lineups respectively. They're sharp the Swans in. Andy Fisher in goal. Cabango down to Manning Christie. Looks like it's a back four. Encham Grimes, the captain. Hannes Wolf. Jamie Patterson returns. Joel Pro and Michael Obafemi. Strange to see Obafemi, Perot, Patterson, Wolf, and Encham all in the same team. It's very, very attacking indeed. On our bench end, Ben Hamer, Ryan Bennett, Jay Fulton, Corey Smith, Carl Joseph, Joel Atabodia, and Finley Byrne. So no place for the new signing from Shrewsbury Town, unfortunately. Ogbetta, he is still unavailable. But Blackburn Rovers in, Thomas Kaminsky in goal. I remember him playing against his first game of the season. He had a cracking game. Ryan Yambi, Joe Rothwell, Scott Wharton, Ryan Hedges, John Buckley, John Paul Van Heck. Where a name there is Dara Lenahan, who I mentioned in my preview last night, Lewis Travers, Ryan Giles returns to South Wales, and Diavasio Zifuk, um, or a name as well. On the bench, Ainsley Piers, Bradley Johnson, Daniel Ayala, Jacob Davenport, Rada Kadra, John Rankin Costello, and Ben Brereton Diaz. So it looks like Ben Brereton Diaz has, you know, only just got to come back from international duty, so you know, got to be careful with him playing a lot of games over in South America. But I'm glad Diaz isn't starting, I'm glad Bradley. Dak is still not available, but yeah, Blackburn is still a decent team, but our, our team on paper is great, but this is a problem, we've got a great team on paper, but for some reason, we can't translate it onto the game, but yeah, Patterson return, it's going to be interesting, it's probably the probably the best, because if he came off the bench, you don't know, but starting, you know, you've got to back your players, so Patterson hopefully he can improve, but on to my prediction, I like the team, but I, I just think our lack of confidence really on Blackburn's high flying form is really going to catch us out today. So I'm going to go 3 1 to the visitors. Scorer for Swansea, Joel Perot, and for Blackburn Rovers, I'm going to go for Ben Brereton Diaz off the bench. I'm going to chase the scores from yesterday. I'm going to go for Ryan Giles, and I'm going to go for Ryan Hedges. So I'm going to go 3 1 Blackburn, but hopefully I'm proved wrong. It's a really, really good team on paper, but let's hope we can perform on Sky tonight. <laughs> Looks like 607 of Blackburn fans, pretty decent considering rugby's on and that. A lot of people like to stay, go to the club and watch that. You know, you can see a lot of Swansea fans from attending today due to the rugby, which is fair enough up to them, I guess. But yeah, Blackburn, Blackburn, very, very good support for a Saturday night game. Sky Sport, the leader stayed at home instead of spending, you know, hundreds of pounds going to Swansea. Great place, by the way. But yeah, the teams are just taking the knee of that nice man. Hopefully, that's a return, it's a good one, and Swansea get back to winning ways today. Come on then, Swansea v Blackburn, come on the boys! 
Well, I thought it was a four in the back, but it looks like it's a five in the back, with Flynn down to the middle, so Perez, and uh, as well for left wing back. Certainly interesting indeed, two very attacking full backs. Let's see if this works. Harris over to show his skill in the box, shot, not all safe, Fisher. Oh, it's a great run. Pull it back. Oh, I was that on a penalty? Bloody hell, I'm not too sure I'm busting a penalty. Um, I'm pretty sure he's talking down on the back post there, but Blackburn seemed to loop the look at the very, very good of crosses. And that's, that's a problem, like I said, Blackburn's best part of the game is the counter attack. We're already seeing that in the first five minutes of this game. Go on! Yes! Michael Obafemi! What a ball pass and how we missed him! But Obafemi finally gets his goal, 1 0! Swansea 1, Blackburn 0, he has a fill out, he's the lead! Michael Obafemi, his first home goal! It's been a long time coming, what a ball by Patterson! As much as I don't really like him at the moment, you know, we have this is great, he's a brilliant ball, you know, he's dominated the game so far to the possession. Not much between either side, but Obafemi finally gets his goal. For a short pass, a great head, a pass to Kaminsky, the goalkeeper. And we probably deserve the lead. Great for Obafemi's confidence, great for pass of confidence. And Swansea lead in, second place, Blackburn over as 1 0. Come on! So come on, Obafemi! Score some goal for Swansea! We go, whoa, whoa, whoa! We go, whoa, whoa, whoa! Go on, Matty Grimes! Unlucky. Come on, boys. Lovely give and go of Bob Femi and Christie. Go on, Patterson! Oh! Really good play again by Michael Bob Femi. Patterson just over the bar, but Swansea are absolutely barring Blackburn the opening half so far. Blackburn going in now, but some quality plays up front. And they do have some good options off the bench. And so far, it's been all Swansea at the end. You know, again, Patterson, I think he's on a bit more four play. He scores that, or gets on target. But yeah, really good from Bob Femi. He's been really, really good last couple of weeks, and he's showing it again today. Free kick to Blackburn. Ball in the box. Oh, off the post. Oh, he's missed. Oh my God. What a let off. The free kick comes from Gabango losing the ball around the edge of the box. Gives away a free kick. Ball comes in off the post. And somehow, Blackburn's number 21 has essentially missed an open goal. Got away with that one. Well done, Andy Fisher. Done. That's a push. Come on, ref. Boo is the cheat. It's dangerous. Okay. Oh. Okay. Way, good referee in. You cheating bastard. Oh no, Ryan Giles. Good save, well done Andy Fisher. Oh, it's been a horrible time to concede. No. So half time, Sunday 1, Blackburn owns nil. Saw it half in the Swans really, probably deserve the lead, but Blackburn are slowly growing into the game. Got a few half chances, a few chances wide of the goal. Fisher's only had like one or three, two minutes here, Ben Amer, then God, thank God he's not in goal. But yeah, Swans deserve the lead. Really, really good ball from Jay Pass, and good to see him back on Swans in his shirt. Really good air from Mike Oberfeli. Here's second goal for club first to home. Pro's been a little bit quiet. And champs got a yellow card. Man for the yellow card's probably a little bit careful. Blackburn player got a yellow card for diving. So two yells in the game. Uh, could be a game when it kicks off so it gets a red card, but hopefully with a lot more discipline. But when Flynn Downs on the pitch, you know, you can't be very disciplined in terms of when a player gets angry. But yeah, 1 0 up. Happy days. Just got to be careful because if Blackburn do get the next one, I do worry about the terms of, you know, the final score. But 1 0 half time. Pretty, pretty decent. If we can get a setting goal though, you know, it'd be really, really confident that we can get a result. But yeah, half time 1 0, happy days. So, Curtis, half time at Sunday Open Stadium, so I'm thinking 1 Black and Rose 0. Thoughts? I think so far so good. Um, obviously, Open Femi, like I said, he was doing a goal and he's got it. Yeah. He did very well. But then Black and Rose hit the post and their confidence has gone up a bit. Ben Brown and Diaz on the bench for them, and when he comes on, I think he'll change the game for them. 
which well I'm hoping he's hoping he's jet lagged yeah. and he's not fully fit yet but but I can see them bringing on Ben Rhodes and Diaz on eat me the guy that may change game. Yeah it's been a very pretty decent game in terms of chances. Do you think we deserve the lead? Yeah I suppose I mean at least we scored in the first half. Yeah I wouldn't argue with a draw at this rate but um, I would still take a draw but a win will be a bonus. I think uh, the longer stays one though I think the longer man will probably want to go defensive maybe bring a left wing back on. Yeah that's the only thing everyone else is too on. defensive apart from Carl Joseph. Yeah let's see what happens cheers. So there's a high threat from a Swans player. I don't think this is good news for whoever put their foot in you. I think we could be in trouble here. And I think it's a red card. Well, I was completely wrong. It's Ryan Manning who's been sent off. He's already on the yellow, so we have to go. Cleveland out through the second yellow, the street red. That's a big blow. Early on in the second half, it's a big, big blow. And you've got to uh, make a change already. And all the family's coming up. That's a strange one. Um, not too sure about that then. Uh, all the family's off, then. Looks like Ryan Bennett's coming up. I think it is a red card. Uh, so Manning's off. I don't want to say bright point on that, but it's going to be a big task for this one for the 10 men. Keeper! Dive in it! Yes, Andy Fisher! Oh my god! Tony Mowbray's on the floor, my heart's in the air, my god, how's that not gone in? It's a brilliant ball again from the uh, fullback of Blackburn, and I don't know how he's not put that in the back of the net. It's been all Blackburn second half, understandably due to the red card, the Blackburn being second and needing the result a lot more than us. But uh, sometimes you just need a bit of luck, we've done that in a few weeks, still plenty of time to go left for an equaliser or even a winner for Blackburn, but so far, that's going Swansea's way. It's a deep cross. Flipping arrows on our out. Oh! Oh my God! How close a black man getting at the post? They've missed an open goal. They've missed several big chances. Christ alive! Bring the full time whistle about a minute after going to full time. In terms of normal time. Uh, I assume we're out four or five minutes after on, so Swans players going back past them, must be absolutely shattered. Those players work their socks off, and it's really, really disheartening for them if they can't get a three points. Yes, well done. Shoot! Yell! Yes! Oh! Oh, what a save, Fisher! Come on, son! So full time on Swansea.com Stadium, Swan City won with 10 men for a good 40 minutes. Blackburn Rovers, nil. What a result. Even with 11 men, that would have been terrific because we were good set in the league. But yeah, bully at Blackburn. A little bit of point with them, really. I know they're missing quite a lot of attacking threat, but yeah, they didn't really bring Andy Fisher's goal off too much. And it's a long way off for them, Blackburn Rovers fan, who made the uh, long way today. But yeah, really, really good to get a win. You know, just shows that even though we are struggling, the players do put in 100% effort. And your parts of the did really, really well. So great to get him back, and you know, all is forgiven as long as you continue giving 100%. No, let's hear the talk for that, but we'll end with the full situation. With the full situation now today, that's something you're fighting back to win anyway. It's been a long time, but uh, well worth it. So it's a big, big three points. We were 15 points above the uh, bottom three, which is really, really big, and hopefully can, can you look up the lockdown. But yeah, it's been a, uh, not a great week for me to say the least, but this win's really uh, helped with that. So yeah, really, really good to see. I will be making a trip to Stoke on Tuesday, Mike. Going to be a very, very good one. Sam Klukas, Joe Allen, Ben Wilmot, etc. But yeah, it should be a good one. But let's just enjoy tonight. Uh, probably for the Sky Neutral, it wasn't that great, but who cares about Sky Sports? But yeah, thanks for watching. Wales may have lost, but uh, at least one team in Wales won today. Hopefully, that's not the case tomorrow. But yeah, cheers, guys, for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Get in there.